Anathea, a poem by Rogue, read by Rogue, that's me, from an as-of-yet unpublished and unknown source. Anathea. On a jagged peak where the cliffs lie bleak and the fog rests just above the shore, There's an ancient hinge that whistles in the wind like a siren to a secret hidden door. Gray flowers hug the ground where the stones curve round and a grave lies underneath the bloom. They sway in the breeze that soars above the sea like whispers from the beauty there entombed. It was oh so long ago when the salty air would blow those golden locks across her flawless face bedazzling her charms, dreaming of her lover's arms as the moon met the horizon's wide embrace. And from this lofty perch, her eyes of blue would search for enchantment in the clouds that sailed above. For like the ocean, she was wild, both a woman and a child, and Athea wanted only to be loved. And the waning of October brought a stranger here to know her. Beneath the waxing moon, her eyes drew bliss. She surrendered to his guile, for beguiled knows no denial, as he returned each evening after for a kiss. When her handsome lover came, paper hearts engulfed in flame, danced perfection, spinning dreams of ever after. From that field between the stones, destined earth to guard her bones, they traded promises for passion's naked laughter. Sculpting heaven out of time, he pledged his heart, his soul, his mind, and in return she granted him her magic. With the starlight gazing down, they lay encircled on the ground, her grave to be where happiness turned tragic. For cruel is the world to torture such a girl with affections teased but never fully won. For a promise to be true lasts no longer than the dew that evaporates beneath the morning sun. When her elvish eyes awakened, weeping forlorn, not mistaken for the emptiness that beckoned from the tide, now a lover left alone, nothing claimed and nothing owned of the stranger who was absent from her side. With a cold, lamenting scream, like a banshee breaking dreams, she called out a desperate curse upon the sky. The solar sphere of day hung its head and crawled away, leaving nothing but the loneliness of night. And she waited there for no one, for the spell would not be undone, and the stinging winds could not erase her pain. So she sang her song of sorrow till the night became tomorrow, and her tears were bleached and hidden by the rain. And where her teardrops fell, gray flowers shaped like bells grew and spread beneath her slender broken frame. And her wailing lamentation replaced her lost elation as the ancient stones gave warning to her name. Anathea, Anathea, don't despair, dear Anathea, for your heart break lasts but seven days for one. But their words could not dissuade her from the dark disease that bade her from the memory of happiness now gone. And the storms absorbed her anger and the heavens roared the danger as a tempest from the rocky cliff was born. And upward waves were reaching as the agony beseeching swirling hate from love betided from her scorn. Anathea, Anathea, calm your rage now, Anathea. Calm your fury now and bid the storm subside. But the winds grew even stronger, and the torrential night grew longer, as the rocky cliff was swallowed by the tide. Now some say that she was taken, and others say she leapt forsaken, though not one of them was there that night to see her. But in the aftermath they found her, on the very shore that drowned her, the beautiful and broken Anathea. And to the jagged peak, where the stone stood bleak, They carried her and buried her between them. Her pale, frail face in silence found some grace as was laid to rest the beauty Anathea. Yet on certain autumn nights, far from people, sound and lights, on this very peak where once reclined a dreamer, you might hear her jilted tune play beneath the blood-red moon, and if your heart be broken, you might see her. A phantom on her perch, 
her unliving eyes now search for enchantment in the heavens high above, for in life she was unbending, though death's claim was not her ending, as the ghostly girl still searches for her love. And if a tempest claims October, icy anger boils over, and some swear they see her flying in the storm. A silhouette suspended, a specter still offended, as she searches for her love forevermore. On a high and jagged peak, where the cliffs lie bleak, and the fog rests just above the shore, there's an ancient hinge that whistles in the wind, like a siren to a secret hidden door. Gray flowers hug the ground where the stones curve round, and a grave lies underneath the bloom. They sway in the breeze that soars above the sea, like whispers from the beauty there entombed. Like whispers from the two souls there entombed. <laughs>